Welcome back. Over the last month or so, we've been speaking about the paint industry ad nauseum. We've spoken to listed players. We've spoken to, uh, you know, existing players, new disruptors. Everyone was waiting for just one thing, the way the new entrant will, uh, you know, price their products. And now we have that as well. Uh, the House of Birlas has actually announced their price for the paints for a largely priced at a 5% discount to the industry. And they've also said that they will give additional 10% quantity across SKUs to the dealers, which implies that their pricing would be around 15 to 17% lower than the existing players. What exactly does that mean in terms of an impact for the existing players? What is uh, the preps at the house of all the other players like uh, at right now? We have uh, the management of Berger Paints joining in to discuss all of that. Abhijit Roy joins in. Abhijit, it's not the first time we've spoken about competition and you've always said that you're prepared for all sorts of uh, things that the competition has to throw up. But now that all the cards are on the table, the products are in the market as well, what's your reading of the space right now? I mean, how do you expect the scenario to go forward? So I think, you know, it's still, you know, a work in progress, I would say. But as of now, whatever we have seen, uh, we are cautious but not worried. You know, I would place it in that manner. Uh, we need to keep watching this space, you know, more closely. But whatever so far we have seen, they have introduced certain products. Uh, we have tested those products. You know, the quality of it is quite similar to what we have already in the marketplace. Uh, nothing spectacularly different there uh, or nothing different at all, in fact. Uh, so it is more or less on, at par quality. The pricing that we have seen, you know, from the leader, you know, it is 5% lower, uh, except for luxury category, uh, in which, you know, it is priced at par with the leader. We also operate at prices which are about 4 to 5% below the leader. So it's matched to our prices almost. So from the pricing perspective, therefore, to the dealer, there is no great difference. Yes, they are giving a consumer offer, which is about 10%, which you mentioned, uh, which is there for the customers per se. Now, customers, you know, they uh, this has been tried and attempted in the paint industry earlier as well. Uh, the problem is that the customers want the best quality product. You know, they don't want a 5, 7, 10% price off uh, in terms of pricing. Uh, they, they are interested in getting a good quality product applied properly uh, and available at the right place. So these have to be ensured, you know, for us, you know, for any company to gain, you know, it is not so much uh, the pricing part of it, because if that was the case, you know, we as we have operated at a lower price than the leader and other players have operated in many cases, even below us in many, many of the product categories. But that hasn't changed the dynamics you know, in the industry. Uh, to Just to give you an example, you know, uh, in Uttar Pradesh, uh, there are four cities very close to each other. Ayodhya, Lucknow, uh, Kanpur and Allahabad. Now, if you look at it, in Ayodhya and Lucknow, we are the leaders. You know, Bajar is the leader in these two markets. And in Kanpur and Allahabad, you know, Asian Paints is the leader. And in both the cases, you know, we have about 40 to 50 percent market share in these two markets. And in their case, also, they have 50 percent plus market share in, in the other two markets. Now, this has been for many years, this has been going on. You know, Asian Paints do not lack, you know, product quality or, you know, advertisement muscle power or for that matter, you know, uh, knowledge of the paint industry. And uh, excellent quality people all around so it's still that you know there is a difference in, in terms of the percentages in paint industry the changes are slow and incremental it is not like you bomb and you know you flatten the surface and you know then you become the leader suddenly it is one-on-one -on -one fight at every place uh, which is you know time taking and that's why you know, we are, we are, you know, of course, you know, cautious, but we're not worried. Okay. All right. That point is taken. Um, and that's an excellent explanation of how it is. It's probably sticky and it's probably more at the ground level in terms of a fight. But uh, Abhijit just wanted to understand that uh, would you want to take another price cut in order to ensure your market share remains where it is? No, we, we, we will not, you know, get into that game, you know, of, you know, trying to 
and any newcomer who comes in you know there have been other people who have come in and done the same thing in the past i don't see you know us reacting in that manner uh, wherever it is required you know suppose some product is doing well we will be focused on that particular product and we'll do something around it not necessarily price cut but we can do many other interesting things so we can react as and when required you know as of now it is too premature to say anything in fact their distribution will take some time you know it will probably be more towards you know the second half when the real battle will happen the first half you know i, I don't see you know anything uh, to be done you know which is different from what we have been doing so far you know what's interesting abhijit so far is that a lot of players who made their entry into the paints industry no one spoke <coughs> of the targets that uh, you know birlas have been speaking of in terms of aggression there's capacity there's revenue that they're speaking about 10000 crores they're speaking about the dealer channel that they are uh, looking to target as well 10000 the first 6 months they're after 50000 uh, do you think uh, it is possible to scale up that fast and if scale up happens at that pace the disruption that you might face would be different from what you've faced so far so you know uh, you can say that the scale of the effort is itself you know at a different level it is definitely mm -hmm. a bigger scale right you know no one has attempted this in this way you know so far right you know as a newcomer but you know as i said the industry and, and it is not only in india it is worldwide that it takes time you know incremental steps have to be taken it doesn't happen like in a burst unless you know the existing players make some mistakes so in my opinion therefore it will be a slow grinding process you know it will not be as fast as possibly anticipated uh, it might be lesser than what you know the projections have been given uh, i i don't think it is impossible to achieve those targets but it is highly improbable that the targets will be hit okay what about your business uh, because in the quarter gone by year to date your volume growth was 10.9% market share 20% your gross margins were at a 10 quarter high uh, would you expect all of this sustaining in the coming quarters what is the guidance that you can provide us given the competitive scenario so you know in in terms of our growth rate you know with the launch uh, you know, probably we were growing on an average on an you know if you look at the cagr the value growth has been around 14 odd percentage the volume growth has been around 12 odd percentage this has been last 25 year i would say cagr if you look at it now this year uh, we expect that with increased competition this 12 percent volume growth may become 11 percent volume growth sort of not beyond that as as of this year right because first six months we have no issues and in the next six months there might be one or two percent you know hit in the overall volume growth that we have so it will be approximately around a double digit volume growth of about 11 or percentage a value growth which will be about 3% below that because you know there is a price decrease which has happened which has been passed on to consumers so that you know it will become about 8 to 9% of uh, value growth which is likely to happen so this is i would say volume value profitability will be more or less you know i have given a range between 15% to 18% is where we operate in terms of ebitda uh, to sales ratio uh, we will be probably around the 16 16.5% range uh, currently it is slightly higher than that you know but you know we have uh, taken some sort of a price decreases as well so it will impact and it will come down to that healthy level but you know it will be slightly lower than what we had been registering last year All right, and final question before we let you go since you said that you know volumes won't be impacted by more than 1% at least in the next one year and there have been price cuts. So the worry that a lot of analysts have is that there won't be a lot of margin upside triggers for the industry going forward. That's largely because one the raw material deflation has more or less played out. You guys will have to now, you know, uh cut prices for you to actually spur up demand going forward and with competition coming in, be that as it may, ad spends of the industry or some sort of dealer margins that you would give etc may increase as well so would that be a fair assessment that at least for the near term margins for the industry would be in a range may not see as much an upside so we we have always been in this range uh, you know between the 15 to the 18% uh 
when the raw material prices drop and 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 there is you know extra profit to be made by the industry at as large you know our uh, profitability tends to move upwards to 17 and 18 and and then you know when it is squeezed in the other way it comes down to around 15 or percentage we operate in that band and we will continue to operate in that particular band there is no major change that you know is anticipated you know minor uh, changes might happen but i don't see any major change happening there Right, take that point. Thanks a lot, Abhijit, for joining in. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, you said it as uh, you could. You are cautious about them, but not worried about them. And it's highly improbable uh, that the targets by uh, you know set out by competition will be met over the next three years. Uh, you will continue to maintain your leadership in the places that you are. Uh, wish you good luck for the quarter. Also, we'll speak to you post your numbers. With that, we'll take a short break. On the other side, Manisha Gupta joins in with R.K. Janamani, who's a senior scientist at IMD. We'll talk all things weather. Stay tuned.